Yo guys, RVH here. I know I told y'all that I didn't get a whole lot of um, video footage of me working on the Jeep because it just absolutely whooped my butt, y'all. I'm too old, I'm telling y'all. <laughs> Crawling underneath that dang thing. They gun, them seats are heavy, man. Good grief, that thing's built tough. Anyway, so I went ahead and got a couple. I did start some recordings and I'm just gonna go ahead and drop those videos to you guys this one here is gonna be my fight and struggle with doing the doors it really shouldn't have been that bad I don't know what happened two screws hit behind some weather stripping you guys will actually see it in the first part of the video um, I think right around the two minute mark when I'm shooting the video talking about I can't get the wires through the um, door jam you guys are actually going to see those two screws. That's actually kind of how I discovered that those screws were there. I re-watched that video for some reason, seeing how it come out. And I was like, what the hell are those two screws behind that weather strip? So I dropped the camera and I pulled the um, weather strip off right there, which was held on by some little snap tabs. And uh, that's when I seen the two screws there. And, well, we got the wire through the door jam. But what little did I know, another thing to kick my butt, was it really, it, each door was a little bit different with the um, plug. The driver's door actually had two um, plug-in connectors in it. The passenger door only had one plug, and it was bigger than the door plug going into the back door. And then the right rear door, now the right rear door was the same as the left rear door. So the two front doors were different from each other which presented another challenge and that's kind of what kicked my butt on getting the dang doors done but yeah anyway you guys can watch the video enjoy it i know it's not super entertaining and i've got some other stuff on the gopro that had started but it had died and so yeah i'm just gonna go ahead and drop those videos down you guys be sure to check out the giveaways like subscribe to the channel i'm just trying to push to a thousand um, subscribers there I'd much rather just go ahead and straight up do some live videos or something like that because my computer's just not up to snuff. I'm doing editing and with my good cameras, it wants to drag on, not render on properly. So that's why we've had to kind of convert to doing uh, cell phone videos like this one here. So, all right, guys, we're going to get it done eventually. All I'm down to now is getting those battery connections made and get my radio thrown back in. And uh, yeah, well. Catch y'all later. Like, subscribe. See y'all. Alright. Another fun item on the Jeep Patriot. Running new speaker wire through the plug. This is in the back door. Now, you're going to have a Molex connector to deal with. Sorry guys, you're shooting on the phone. So, what you're going to do to get the Molex out is pull the rubber off. And then there will be a couple of tabs that you're going to have to um, push down. Darn it, trying to see how to do this and hold this camera. There, and then underneath there. That will come out like so. And this one here will be plugged in here like so. And you just push the tab and unplug it. Now, Guys, this is not going to count for all Jeep Patriots, okay? Because uh, you see this here? This is a window crank handle. I have no power windows or door locks. So, in my plug, what I was able to do here, and the way I did it, is with the... See if I can plug these two back in one-handed, maybe. Probably not. So, get you guys an extreme close-up of my ugly, grubby hands. Anyway... Alright, so you're going to notice in the plug here that I have a bunch of blanks, okay, all through here. Now, if you have power windows, door locks, and all that, a lot of these blanks are going to be filled in, okay? So I cannot, this is not going to count for you guys to have power windows, door locks, and all that, but if you're working on the Jeep Patriot, that's manual windows and manual locks then this can account for you all I did is took my um, with it plugged back in is took my drill bit 
and was able to go straight all the way through the plug. Now, I just simply went for it on that because, yeah, you think, oh, okay, cool. Nope, got another issue is here and to do speakers in the in this Patriot you do not need to take the whole door panel off really there's just a grill here that unsnaps off for like the back speakers well obviously you guys know that there's my thing so with the component sets my tweeter are here and you see I had to cut out quite a bit of that for the kicker tweeters because they're huge so now what I've got to do really without taking the whole door panel off is figure out how or what kind of little plastic channeling that they've got here because I've already tried to jab my speaker wire through there and it did not come out nowhere even though I know it does because if I take and pull on this speaker wire it obviously pulls on the plug so it's got to be coming through the channeling somewhere so I think what I'm going to do is put a little bit of WD-40 on my wire that I'm getting ready to run through there and get it on through there but yep I just want to do this quick video on yeah how to get a wire through the Mullex plug in a G Patriot I guess without power windows and locks so yeah happy joy fun Alright y'all, still working on getting the wires through one door panel here. I do not recommend doing this if you don't have to. Anyway, but hopefully my stupidity will save you. After fighting with this and going ahead and loosening the door panel to pull it out, kind of give me a better idea of what they had going on here. I noticed this rubber piece here actually run behind the weather strip. And... Then I discovered a screw here and a screw here. So that allowed me to pull this channel out here. So now we can actually get our speaker wire into the door. So don't let my little mistake of not seeing these two screws here haunt you like it did me. Hopefully you search YouTube for running speaker wires through the door of a Jeep Patriot. And this would account for all of you from, what is it, years 2012? The 2016, 2017, 2018, whenever they quit making the darn thing. I think they changed the body style in 2012 and then they quit making them in 2018. So, but like I said, this is also going to be non-power non-power so no power door locks no power windows so you're gonna have more wires than what i did but anyway all right maybe we can get this one door done now that i know what's going on we can get the other three knocked out i haven't done one before so yep learning um process right cool we got it figured out yay